what will it be? We have everything you want. Okay, so that's the 42 inch touchscreen PC lying flat on the floor with a wall made next to it. Now, we're not going to mount it on the wall because we've got old shopping center pieces to mount it to. Yes, uh, we're going to be making a giant touchscreen PC trolley. <laughs> uh, at least try to. Uh, so this is a big steel device, uh, L-shaped as you can see. Uh, very sturdy, should be able to handle the weight just fine. And uh, the goal of this is to uh, mount uh, the TV or the touchscreen PC to these two bars on the back of there, uh, sticking it roughly flat there and then out a bit more into the air, allowing me to cart it around as needed. And uh, this is going to be a, quite an experience putting it together because as you can see this uh, trolley is not the most sturdy thing in the world. Uh, it's uh, pretty good design in that it uh, doesn't want to collapse in on itself uh, even if you load it down heavily and it's rather a sturdy steel all of it, about a millimeter thick everywhere. Uh, but uh, the way it's designed so that it can go flush against the wall uh, does land it with a tendency to tip over backwards when unloaded. Uh, so we are going to be relying entirely on the TV uh, kind of taking the center of gravity out towards the middle a bit, uh, hopefully pretty much around the middle and making it somewhat sturdy. But uh, even with that in mind, uh, the TV is going to be mounted roughly like so. Uh, so it's going to be very, very top heavy. Uh, so you might have to install a shelf with a UPS or something at the bottom to kind of keep it from tipping over and uh, destroying itself. Uh, we might even want to just uh, attach a board going across there to make sure the wheels don't uh, want to move around because there's nothing to stop these, these guys just flopping around. So if we hit something with this, this could just go and uh, the whole thing would come tumbling down and uh, leaving us with a rather shattered touchscreen PC which uh, certainly would not be touch or screen anymore. Uh, but uh, before we get to that we need to uh, figure out how to mount all this. So uh, the mounts on the back of a PC are very limited in scope. I've got the two mounts on the only two places they can go uh, and I'm thinking we're going to go with a one on the right of that because that allows uh, just a bit less flex since it's uh, further out of the edges and uh, this mount is just about wide enough to uh, handle uh, holding this thing in place. Uh, the mount itself is a rather nice one, which again got at a discount. It's brand new and uh, it's uh, got a uh, built it to move out a bit and it'll also tilt up and down. And uh, I mostly got it for the tilt f feature, but for moving out and in and out is going to allow us to fine tune the center and mass of the whole thing, which is going to be very useful. Uh, and then I want to tilt it down a bit so that uh, I can sit at it comfortably since it's going to be mounted about. Uh, uh, the low edge of the device is going to be about a meter above the floor uh, since I want to be able to get above any workbench or table I put in front of it. Uh, so uh, if we don't tilt it down we're going to be viewing it at a very awkward angle. Uh, but uh, yeah, the first order of business is to get the mount uh, mounted to these two uh, bars there. And uh, thankfully this particular mount uh, comes with little template thing there so we can just uh, see if that's going to fit just fine uh, almost perfect uh, so we can just uh, drill a couple of holes and uh, bolt this together. All right so moving on to the actual mounting uh, my hope is to be able to use a couple of these short M8 bolts and uh, just drill and tap holes right into the shelving system itself so I've uh, measured up and attached the handy template you got with the uh, mount and punched out all the holes uh, for the entire thing. And uh, I'm going to start by drilling maybe uh, eight of them and uh, we'll see if we manage to tap those properly. Uh, if we don't manage to tap them we'll just uh, resort to uh, using uh, nuts on the other side. But uh, I'm hopeful that uh, this uh, material stock is going to be thick enough to allow for tapping but uh, if it's going to be durable enough it's uh, a whole other story. Okay this is how you're not supposed to use a tap set. That 
works. All right, and that's a pretty much finished cart. Uh, so, uh, you will most obviously notice that I've added a piece of uh, uh, board down to the bottom to keep the uh, arms uh, sturdy so they don't flop around. Uh, I'm thinking I'm not going to regret doing that. Uh, and in the top we have the TV mount. So, uh, for sturdiness, since we are only threading into some relatively thin material, uh, we have uh, six bolts on the top there holding everything together three on this side and three on the other as well as uh, four bolts on the bottom side holding it together and these have nothing back in them they're just threaded into the material itself so there's nothing sticking out there are no ugly holes or anything and going along here it would be rather annoying to try and drill holes since we have all these perforations on this side uh, to begin with uh, and it does seem uh, quite sturdy actually uh, you will notice that uh, the top one is sitting on this extension piece, which looks horrible, but it's extending with a cross brace down about that far. So these are really, really hardcore, these uh, extra extension pieces, they can take a lot of weight. Uh, the biggest flexing issue is uh, this entire bar flexing along its length. Uh, you, you know, I tried hanging on it as much as I can with uh, my minor stomach injury going on, but uh, this uh, has a tendency to kind of want to eh, turn outwards, but uh, that's going to turn into force pulling on these uh, and uh, uh, that's going to accumulate on this corner here uh, as far as I can gather. So we're going to see this corner just kind of want to bend outwards as it's trying to uh, bend inward and uh, collapse in on itself. But uh, uh, I don't think there's enough play in any of this for that to become an issue. The biggest force aside from bending is going to be of this bar pushing against this and we have a decently large area there where the actual outer part of the metal can push against it so I think it's going to be pretty good. And then of course the bottom one is going to be trying to get pushed out like that since the TV is uh, putting leverage on it but that's going to be a minor issue uh, in comparison since it's just trying to push it straight out. Uh, and again, exerting some force, trying to pull the scene, uh, which is being prevented by this cross brace here. This whole thing is surprisingly in sturdy in that ax axis, uh, due to this big metal uh, plate, which ho hooks into a bunch of these holes here. So there's a, a lot of stuff uh, keeping this from essentially sittering together and collapsing in on itself. And of course, these also provide some bracing going that way. So really, this thing, feels pretty good. Uh, it does, unladen, have a weight distribution issue. It, uh, if I don't have the TV main to pull them that way, it wants to tip backwards. So uh, we are definitely going to need, be needing the TV to be extended just a little bit so we get the center of gravity right between the casters there. And now the way you're supposed to install the TV onto the actual main is you lift the TV up and hook it on the two hooks around the back of the TV. Uh, I am by far not strong enough to lift something weighing more than uh, my bo half my body weight uh, up to chest height. Uh, so my plan is to uh, flip this on its back, uh, lift the TV backside onto the main and uh, bolt it onto the main and then try and lift it up from behind, uh, chucking the rear casters there so it doesn't just scoot away from me and uh, that's hopefully not going to cause a result of the whole thing tipping over the other way. Uh, that, that would be uh, rather hilarious. But uh, that's really the next step. Uh, everything's prepared, I can't hold it off any longer. The TV is going on. And there we have it mounted. Uh, getting it thus far has been very, very smooth sailing. I'll literally just uh, lift the TV back on there, put it down on its arse and uh, screwed it on with the two uh, screws which go underneath there to hold it uh, to the mount and uh, it really fits rather well. Uh, it can even uh, go inside between these a little uh, just to make it a bit thinner profile and uh, uh, the mount is flexible so it can move around but uh, uh, it's on there and should be pretty good to go. So uh, I have a uh, Prepare this as much as I can. I've locked these wheels in place and I've taped these 
so they can't uh, roll anywhere and make this thing run away from me. Uh, and uh, it's time to see if we can manage to lift this uh, rather heavy behemoth up. Uh, so the TV is exactly 35 kilos. I've weighed it. Uh, the uh, frame itself is rather heavy to lift. It's probably another uh, seven kilos or so I have to manage to get up. So it is, it's going to be interesting. I weigh 60 kilos, so this thing is considerably heavier than me, probably. Well, no, probably be a, a bit lighter than me, but uh, it's a rather close match. Oh, let's go. <sighs> All right, here goes nothing. This thing is taking off. Hey. I don't want this thing to take off. Hey. Okay. It's upright. Are you going to stay put? I don't know how my thumb and my feet. Jesus Christ, this is terrifying. It's not going anywhere. Uh, okay. 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 And there we have it in its final iteration. Isn't that gorgeous? That is too big for this room. So I have tried rolling it around a bit. It works. So let's let's just do that so I can just grab it here and move it around. No issues. It doesn't even feel uh, like I'm I'm perfectly comfortable doing that with one hand. And even if I rock it back and forth, there really is no indication that it's going to go either way. And that's because we should have a pretty decent center of gravity. If we look at how wide the base is compared to how far the uh, touchscreen PC sticks out. So this has not turned out badly. The worst part has been tightening up all the uh, bolts on the wall mount because it's, it was just very loose by default. So I had to get in there and really tighten everything up. The worst part by far is the uh, tilt control which is all the way down here somewhere and that's just impossible to get at. I'm also not really happy with them advertising this main as taking 80 kilos. Uh, the worst part by far is the tilt control which is uh, uh, those uh, horizontal bolts going all the way across down in there. They need to be very very tight in place to actually hold the TV and uh, it's some sort of odd friction fit system uh, which uh, has a tendency to just slide whatever you do. And it, it, you need to be, uh, but, but these guys are a lot more tight than M4s should ever be. Uh, but uh, it's holding, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna install some zip ties to just kind of keep this a bit more sturdy still. Uh, beyond that, just uh, tightening up all these bolts made everything just uh, stick around a bit uh, better. Uh, I'm a bit uh, terrified that advertise this as being able to handle 80 kilos though, since uh, this piece of metal that's holding everything in place is bending quite a bit just from uh, this 35 kilo device. Uh, but uh, then again, we do have a very wide spacing between the main, so it does have an excuse. Perhaps I should have used uh, uh, those instead since uh, that wouldn't have been the narrowest point in the system anyway, since we have the uh, central main down in there, which is rather small. Yeah, that would have been actually a far better solution. Oh uh, well. That would have allowed for more flex in the case, but instead, so I guess it's good. So beyond that, I think we're pretty much ready for a test run. 
I pulled out the brightness controls, we have a knob on, underneath there, a display cable is installed, and I've even had the foresight to bring out an IEC, so here we go. This is so sturdy, but I'm, I'm forcing that, it's not uncomfortable. Press the big green button. And we have a fan spin. Starting windows. Hello. Bam. Beautiful with a touchscreen keyboard and all. So have we ruined anything? Nope. We still have perfect touch capability. Uh, the the touchscreen software for this is rather amazing because I haven't actually recalibrated the touchscreen for a very long time while well, this thing has been sitting around and uh, I even ported the Windows installation to a completely new hard drive with a new graphics card and new everything on it without uh, anything breaking. This, this even works at 800 by 600 with standard VGA drives installed so that is not a bad feat. Ah, that is such a lovely sight, just let that soak for a second. All we need is uh, <laughs> a USB Wi-Fi adapter and a UPS and this thing would bloody well be portable. So the plan is to uh, cart this thing around now for a while and once I'm done uh, moving the workshop up here, uh, this is going to go behind uh, my main bench, probably. So I'll be sitting at uh, about uh, 80 centimeters from this. Uh, I might have to stretch this out a bit to reach to use the touch functionality, but uh, this is just going to be my main everything PC now that we've got the i7-4770 in it. Uh, I can just can do decent quality streaming and everything. And it's even got USB 3 for my video capture devices. <sighs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So. I think we're pretty much done here. I'm going to have to miss that button several times. I wish you a pleasant day. Cheerio.